Hey there guys, welcome back. Exams are coming up and the first years might be freaking out on how to study and how they're gonna pass. So I thought I'd make a video and explain them a tip using which they'll be able to reduce their burden and save some time. Yeah. So again, before I tell you the trip, I just want to warn you that you use it at your own risk. Okay, because again, as far as I know, as far as the people from my board, from my university, it works most of the time. But then again, using this does not guarantee that you're going to pass and using this does not mean that you're going to fail. So I'm going to tell you the trick. You can use it. But again, have a talk with your faculty before you actually implement it. Because again, it varies from university to university, from the type of evaluation and again, so we'll be looking at one of the most dreaded topics in biochem that is metabolism okay so uh, here I have a picture of how the metabolism looks this is the glycolysis pathway the most common pathway that biochem students will come in face with so this is one way of presenting the pathway okay so the glucose gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of glucokinase and hexokinase or glucose 6-phosphatase then glucose 6-phosphate is converted to fructose 6-phosphate in the presence of phosphohexoisomerase and then fructose 6-phosphate is converted to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate in the presence of phosphofructokinase so it just goes on instead of this there is another method okay instead of writing all this you can do something such as this you can just write glucose then the steps which you remember like I remember okay glucose gets converted to glucose 6 phosphate then if I remember okay after some steps it's get it gets converted to dihydroxyacetone okay and um, what's the other thing yeah glycerol 3 phosphate okay so I remember that lesser all 3 phosphate then I don't remember the rest of the steps so okay I draw some simple arrows and I come to pyruvate okay so instead of writing the whole glycolysis pathway if you just write the things which you actually remember like I remember glucose I remember glucose 6 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone and glycerol 3 phosphate and I remember pyruvate and you add up the arrows in between just to denote that it flows in this way it works it's like a patch so in this case you don't have to remember all the 10 steps okay you can just manage with two to three steps but then again you're not gonna score all the marks that you will get if you draw the whole pathway yeah you won't get all the marks that you get while you draw the whole pathway but again something is better than nothing okay so this is one of the methods that you can follow the other one goes as to say okay you have something like this and you don't remember the name of the enzyme so in, so you don't remember that the name of the enzyme is glucose kinase or hexokinase or glucose 6-phosphatase but you know the step that is glucose gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate now what is an enzyme which adds a phosphate called kinase you add this or a phosphate is getting added so phosphatase okay so if I write over here so glucose gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme kinase so wherever a phosphate is getting added you add kinase then it gets converted to fructose 6-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme isomerase you don't have to remember the entire name like phosphohexoisomerase no it's not necessary you have to know what type of an enzyme is it is it a hydrolase is it a kinase is it a isomerase is it a aldolase you don't need to know the entire name that phosphohexo isomerase no just isomerase plenty okay and then fructose 6 phosphate gets converted to fructose 1 6 bisphosphate what's the enzyme kinase again you don't have to know the name phosphofructokinase no just kinase is sufficient okay so now you have two methods on how to face one you just write the chemicals the steps which you know okay and then the steps you don't remember you just put in the arrows and you write the last step 
because the main concern is the first step the last step and some important intermediaries okay and if you don't remember the enzyme just remember what that enzyme does okay so if you know the first step and you know the subsequent step you can easily add in the enzyme depending on what the next step has been okay so again glucose is an isomer of fructose so isomerase glucose phosphate group is getting added so phosphatase or kinase yeah so if you do this method it does not just work for glycolysis it works for all it works for glycolysis it works for lipid metabolism it works for amino acid metabolism you just need to know what functional change is happening between the first step and the second step you can put in that enzyme groups name you don't need to know that enzymes particular name as long as you know the enzymes group name and as long as you know the some of the steps you can just put in arrows and you can bypass the entire metabolism so in this way you won't have to spend much of your energy much of your brain power you won't have to cram much you won't have to buy heart much so in this way it gets a little easier okay then again at your risk confirm it with your faculty once but as far as i know it works you can go ahead and use it thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video hope this helped like subscribe and share thank you